Hey folks, this is Rainer here from TradingWithRainer.com So welcome to my weekly Forex analysis For those of you who are new to this I would like to say thank you for joining me All right? And what I do each week is that I will identify potential trading opportunities on the higher time frame All right? So what I, how I go about it is that I ident identify the trend on the weekly charts And find an entry on the daily and the 4 hour charts so that's how I usually go about doing my weekly forex analysis. So with that, let's look at some potential setups for the week, right? So looking at the charts for this week, right? This is the chart of the British Pound Yen weekly chart. So I'm actually bearish on the Yen, so mean, meaning that other currencies are railing against the Yen, right? Because I'm bearish on the Yen. So one of my top picks is actually the British Pound against the Yen, right? Looking at Looking at the trend right now, we can see that it is in a clear up trend, right? Simple. So these are all the S and R levels which I've plotted out, all right? For those of you who are not too good in drawing S and R, you may look and compare with my levels and see how you fare against mine, all right? So easy. We are in the trend right now. Because we can see we have higher highs and higher lows, right? So price recently took off the swing high here, and right now it's trying to make higher gains, all right? So I'm looking to long on this pair actually. Right, so where I'll look long is actually I'll go down to the lower time frame. Right, so I'll look at a forward chart right now and identify a level which I can look to get long. Right, so this is the forward chart, and we can see that price is also, also still making higher highs and higher lows. All right, here, 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 and here. So, technically, as price is in the uptrend, it will continue to make higher high and higher lows. So, where I look to get long is I can identif identify a support level here, right around the 156.75, and this zone is where I look to have a buy limit order, all right? So if price were to retrace towards the 156.75 level, which is here, I will look to buy, okay? Buy this pair, the pound yen. And my stops will go below this swing low over here. So my stops, you're looking at about 200 pip, all right? Almost, so what, 220 pips, 220 pips here around there. So this will be my stop loss, all right? So the green zone I'll buy, and here is my stop loss. So this area here is how much I'm willing to risk for this pair. So profit target wise, you can look to write the trend, right? But please set the trade to break even when price reaches this swing high over here, right? Because what could possibly happen is that let me remove some of the lines. What could possibly happen if you do not set it to break even is that price may have a bounce up here, and here could be a potential resistance, and price will come back lower here. So you wouldn't want to have your winning trade become a losing trade. So I would suggest setting it to break even when price approach this swing high over here. Okay, and that's for the pound yen. The next pair I'll be looking at is the euro pound. Alright, this is the weekly chart, right? So some of you can look at my SNR levels and you can see that price actually been ranging since um, early this year, right? January 2013. So price is in a range, right? Contained between the resistance level here and the support level here, alright? So in a range play, what I would like to do is BSSR, right? In short, it means buy support, sell resistance, right? Buy support, sell resistance. And look where price is right now, right? I'll clear the lines and we can see that price is actually right now at support level. Am I right? Between the 84 and 84.50 level. So at support level, I'll look to buy, to buy and be long, okay? So how would I go about doing it, alright? Do you notice a candlestick pattern of the previous week? What do we have here, alright? According to my own definition of an engulfing pattern, we have an engulfing pattern here because price engulfed the previous previous week candle. So we have an engulfing pattern and that could that is actually a very strong signal for me to actually get long, alright? So what you can do is actually go down to the 4 hour chart, you can see price action more clearly and you can actually have a market buy order right now or a limit buy order at this level here and get your stops below here. Actually, I could even suggest just going in at market right now because this is a value area, right? If price were to break the 84 level or even take out our stops here, then our trade will be invalidated and we should take the loss, all right? But nonetheless, this is a potential long opportunity and where I look to take profit will be actually be here. The 87.50 level will be a level to actually look to take some profits. So this is actually a potential 60 pip and 340, a potential 1 to 6 risk, almost a 1 to 6, almost a 1 to 6 risk reward, alright? You'll be risking this much here, 
right, your risk and your potential targets at 8750, which is here. Your reward, right? So poten almost a one to six risk reward, and it's definitely a very good trade if you ask me. So definitely a pair to look at. Look at. That's the euro pound. And the next pair we look at is the dollar Swiss franc again. A similar story as the euro pound. This is my weekly chart, and we can see that price is also in a range for this pair, right? So it has been in a range since October 2011. Sorry, I mean yeah, around October 2011. Here, this is the support level. This is the resistance level, and it's between the 99 and 90 level, which is in a 900 pip range. 900 pip range. Okay. So again, BSSR buy support sell resistance so we are at support right now so for more conservative trader what you can do is actually wait for a bullish pin bar on a weekly chart all right before getting long either a bullish pin bar or an engulfing pattern for more aggressive traders you can actually look to long right now all right and get your stops below this swing low over here so technically if you were to long at market right now you'd be long here and your stops would be below this swing low over here all right so looking at potential profit targets Again, you can look to take profit within this resistance area here, the 98 and 99. Again, a very high risk reward trade. So if I were to manually calculate, it will be about, let's see, it will be about, stop loss is about 180 pips with a potential target of almost nearly 800. So it's about, let's say, four, one to four, almost a one to five risk reward. Close to one to five risk reward, right? One to 4.5 to be exact around there. Almost a... 1 to 4.5 risk reward, alright, so this will be a trade for the dollar Swiss franc, okay, and the last pair I'll be looking at is oil, okay, oil is another interesting pair, again, a pair that is ranging, so this is my SNR levels which I've drawn out for oil, you can see that price also has been ranging since it broke out in July 2013, it broke out and it has been ranging since then, so given the case in Syria, the crisis, so you can see actually quite a bit of volatility in oil, so again, nonetheless, technical rules still the same BSSR buy support sell resistance so for conservative traders you look for either pin bar or engulfing pattern at this region down here for the more aggressive ones you can actually look to buy at market and get your stops below this swing low down here but for this pair I actually suggest to wait for price action confirmation because this pair is pretty volatile so right now if you enter at market and get your stops below here there could be chances that you might be stopped out due to the volatility of this pair so I encourage you to wait for bullish price action signal at the 102.50 and 103.50 which is this area right here with a bullish price action signal before getting long right profit targets wise similarly you can look to take profit at the resistance zone down here the 109 and the 110 level right and that's it for my forex analysis i hope you guys enjoyed it because if you do what you can do is actually log on to my website at tradingwithrainer.com i have actually tons of free materials you know i have the forex analysis the charts trading videos to teach you how to draw harmonic patterns and some trading articles which will uh, give you more insight into the forex markets so if you'd like to be part of my facebook trading discussion group you can actually join me on facebook and subscribe to me on youtube all right i'm even on twitter so you know i'll suggest actually just subscribing to all three social media so you can actually get more updates with me from time to time and lastly i would suggest also leaving your email so i'll actually inform you of updates of when I'll be available. For example, recently I was in Genting, thus my update came in slow. So what I'll do is I'll send you regular updates through your email on chart talk or forex analysis or any updates to my website. In the email, I'll be posting pretty regularly. So these are some of the mediums you can actually stay in touch with me and I hope you guys have a fabulous week ahead. All right, so I'll actually log off right now and I wish you guys good trading. Thank you.